everybody. Welcome to a special holiday edition of our advice show. What should I drew? My co-pilot, Rossi Ross Matthews, is here to help me answer your juicy questions about life, relationships, and the holiday season because I'm telling you, we are a better twofer. Uh, yes, and if anyone needs advice, this, this is the time when people need it. Hello, lots going on during the holidays. Family, it's all complicated. Rossi, take it away with our first viewer submitted question, which I love because I'm like, ooh, somebody has a genuine question. How can we help? They say, my BFF and I like snuggling and watching movies under Christmas lights, but how do I say I want him as my boyfriend? Mm. Mm. That whole friend zone crossover thing is always so complicated. My suggestion is if you want to say it, maybe don't use words to say it. You know what I mean? Mm. See, that's so much more proactive. I was going straight to like the vibe it out and talk. Rossi's right, just kiss him. Yeah. I would say weigh the scales of if you're afraid you're gonna lose the friendship over it, is it worth it to you? Are there other fish in the sea? Do you only kind of like this person? Maybe it's not worth it. Maybe you're meant to be friends. However, if you have really strong feelings for them, you're not really being their friend. Like, anyway, you're out there pining with a truth you can't fully express, and that isn't true friendship. True friendship is like, everything's on the table. Totally. This is another question, okay. okay. I'm going to be back in my hometown where my longtime ex lives. Can exes reconcile after dating others and growing? Mm -hmm. I have a very strong theory about this. Please. Uh -huh. I've said it to you before. I think you can reheat leftovers one time. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah, because they do get gross after a while. They get gross if you keep reheating over and over they and over. They coagulate, they get stiff and weird. Precisely. All crunchy when they're supposed to be soft so and yes. smooth. So I think, you know, if you're interested in an ex, dip your toe in that water one time, see it, but don't keep going back again. to the well. Exactly, because that is just self-sabotage, I think. I'm gonna end it on your advice because oh. I couldn't agree more. It's exactly what I would say. Thanks. Not even realizing that's exactly what I would say. <laughs> All right, next question. It's cuffing season and I'm trying to find someone special. So if there's no success on a dating app, this viewer wants to know, what are some other suggestions on how to meet people? Oh, like, this I, is a tough one because it's like, yeah. I feel like everybody in real life is like looking around, but they're really just thinking about getting home to their apps where they can be accepted or rejected in a safe space. You are not alone in this dilemma. I have gone out in the real world and I never get asked out. Mm. It's like the only place I've ever been able to find dates is on an app because you kind of know that's what you're signed up to do there. And that structure makes people feel freer and it's happening less and less in real life. However, what are you into? And maybe go to those places and mm -hmm. see if you can find a like-minded friend. Well, I have a theory. A lot of times we go out, if you're single, with a group of friends. But if you go out with a group of friends at a bar and you're hanging out, no one can penetrate that group. You're, you're not gonna meet anybody that way. I recommend putting on something that makes you feel good and go out by yourself. And whether that's to a bar and get a drink or when you go to get groceries, make sure you're wearing something that makes you feel confident and so you're putting that vibe I think out. I just figured out why no one asked me out in the grocery store. Mm -hmm. I dress like such a schlump. Yeah, and it's not about you what you're wearing. It's about how you're feeling and yeah, what you're wearing, yeah, right? Put a little effort in. Yeah. All right, we have another question. This one comes from a viewer who says, I want to post a cute holiday photo of my boyfriend, but I'm worried about people hating on me. Ew, in the comments. So they want to know, how do, how do you respond to haters and jealous people who try very hard to bring you down and provoke you? Okay, now this one I have a strong opinion Hit about. Me. Don't. Don't read comments. You are bound to have a 50-50 seesaw of hell and heaven. Some people will like you and it'll make you feel so good about yourself. And some people will hate on you and it'll make you feel really bad about yourself. Do not post, write, or do anything to put out there in the world looking for validation or opinions. Just put what you want out there with confidence. Just simply turn the comments off. If you want to put it out there in the world because you're proud of your relationship, do it. But don't ask for feedback. Don't if stop you don't living want your it. life, but do not seek validation from others. That is up to you. That is your work to mm -hmm. do. All right, last question. Um, this one I find interesting. They say, they ask, putting up a mistletoe, yes or no? Um, Kisseltoe? A kisseltoe? Yes, I love mistletoe. You do? Oh my God, yes! 
gross. It's cold and flu season, everyone. Don't kiss a stranger <laughs> just because a plant told you to. No, thank you. That's not for me. Well, thank you for these questions. And Rossi, I love your perspective thank on you. things. I love yours. You really are the yin to my gang. <laughs> yeah, thank you, my love. If you have questions for us to answer, drop them in the comments below and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more because we love engaging with you guys. It means the world to us that you would send in your questions and it's a privilege to try and answer them. Yay, Happy you. holidays, everyone. <laughs>